Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ شَيْءٍ وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ بِهِ عَلِيمٌ Subhanallah. Allah is telling us, he's making it clear, you will never attain my pleasure. He says, you will never attain my pleasure until you give for the sake of me. Until we give in the ways that are pleasing to him. Until we give in charity. Guys, we must learn to be able to separate ourselves from our wealth and stop acting like it's ours. We're merely borrowing it while we're here and what we do with it is what's important. We don't take anything with us when we leave this world. And Allah sees all that we give, every single thing. Allah, Allah also says that on a day of judgment, he will say, Oh, son of Adam, I was hungry and you did not feed me. We as the sons of Adam will reply back to Allah, Allah, you are the master of the worlds. How could we feed you? Like, how is it possible? Allah will say, My servant was asking you for food. And had you had, had, you had fed him, you would have found me. Allahu Akbar. Guys, what more incentive? Like, what more incentive do we need to be able to give right now in this month of mercy? It's Jumu'ah. Our brothers and sisters in Gaza are starving. They're on the brink of famine. Like, do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor, guys, because I'm sure we can all agree the people of Gaza are the people of Jannah. And for us, our fate is not so sealed. So do yourself a favor today and click the link in my bio and join us and aid us in helping the hundreds of thousands that we have been able to so far in Ramadan because of your help. May Allah reward you all for listening. Sorry if I rambled on. Um, I just wanted to come, come on here and say that. And um, yeah, Jumma Mubarak.